Hello, it's Ryan from Lego Centric, and I'll be doing something a little differently. As you can hear, I'm kind of sick. Uh, I have a cold. I got it on Christmas Day. Um, but I managed to go out after work, after I took a nap, uh, and go on a little toy hunt. Uh, I was thinking about getting into some action figures, and I kind of want to do a display up on my wall. I've um, been getting really into Marvel, com uh, back into the comics and stuff again. So... And I've been watching a lot of these haul videos on YouTube. Um, I'll post the links, or at least do a shout out to um, some of the guys I've been watching. Um, but I kind of wanted to just show everybody what I got. Uh, this is not part of the haul that I got today, um, but I do want to show you this new. <sighs> this is all. This is all my racks here. But I just really want to show you. These are the Marvel Mega Blocks. Um, mystery pack that came out. This is every one of them except for um, Silver Surfer, which I have not been able to find. Uh, Series 3 has not been released in every store, only in uh, one Walmart that I found, and I got every other figure out of it. But And I'm not going to go over every figure. That was earlier this week. If you... I cannot say enough good stuff about Marvel Mega Bloks. It's a shame that they're not going to make them anymore. I know that people... Um, are crazy about Mega Bloks, but I have to say those Marvel Mega Bloks are amazing. And I actually spent a few hours last night coming up with a miniatures game so that I can use them. Um, and I'm going to be posting that, um, the rule book to that, if people are interested. Um, and I, you know, some other websites and stuff that people want. But those are great. I know the Halo stuff, some of the stuff has been like kind of accident prone. People say it falls apart a little bit, it's really hard to build. Um, I do like the just the minifig Halo mystery pack stuff, but that Marvel stuff is awesome. Um, the detail is so great, and they're like $2.50 a piece. Obviously, you can look at the codes on the back um, to make sure you don't get doubles and stuff, and it's awesome. But, all right, on to the stuff I bought today. Um, let's, i got to move this so you can kind of see everything. Went to Walmart, and the bunch of stuff is on clearance. So... Um, Hoth Wampa Cave, 297, an old set. Um, didn't have it. Have the TAT already built, set up, um, and needed this set, but it was $19.99. Normally it's $40, some places $45, like Toys R Us. Um, $19.99, I had to pick it up. I was so happy that they had it on clearance. If anybody is a big Walmart um, shopper, have Walmarts around, check it out. Slave One is $39.99 if you don't have it. It's like 50% off. It's an awesome deal. Um, Palpatine shuttle, twenty nine bucks. Um, some really good deals, and but I just didn't have this, so I said, "Hey, I'll pick it up." Um, then I actually have been. I really love War Machine, and um, hopefully the glare isn't too bad. I know this light is really bright. Um, this is uh, Mega Bloks War Machine build. It's uh, it's kind of like a magnetic build. The arms and the chest and the head go on magnetically, um, and I built that so I could show you. And I think it was already in the video earlier, but. This is what that looks like. And that is really cool. I love War Machine. Um, he's about 100 times cooler than Iron Man, I think. And, um, yeah, it's just really cool. It's like, it's all magnetic. The arms come off, and they just magnetically go back on. So I really like that, um, and I was happy to pick that up. Then I picked up the action figure side of things. I picked up the 6-inch Iron Man um, War Machine. Again, this glare is awful. Um, but um, I've been looking at this figure for a little while. Um, like I said, I love War Machine. I think he's awesome. And, oh, we're going to have to angle this better. Um, and, yeah, this is an awesome, this is an awesome figure. Normally, I prefer the three... You know what this? I prefer the the three point seven five inches um, figures, but I make an exception for a couple of these figures. And I also got this um, Marvel Initiative War Machine. And how badass is that? I, I, I could not. I had seen it I think once before, uh, but I caught my eye tonight, and I and I'll tell you the story about how I got these. This is. This is a badass looking war machine right there. 
again with this glare. Let me let me just put my lampshade on here. Maybe that'll kill some of it. Probably won't be able to see anything anymore, but whatever. All right, so we got that too. So that as well. I couldn't see. All right, so moving on. Been looking at a lot of the Marvel Universe stuff, and um, I know it's really hard to find. It gets picked through really quickly. Uh, you go to any Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, you pretty much see the same exact few figures that no one wants, like Falcon. You see like a thousand copies of Falcon. I just ordered online the Iron Spider-Man, the, uh, the, the Spider-Man and the Iron Man, the suit that Iron Man made him during the Civil War. Um, which I think is uh, absolutely awesome looking. I, I've, I didn't obviously find it in a store because it's been discontinued for a while, but I found it online for a pretty reasonable rate, so I just ordered that. Uh, but I did find tonight um, Thor, Marvel Universe Thor, which is this is like the um, from the reboot a few years ago. It's like a lot fatter looking. Um, lot like more round but I do like how he looks I think he's he's a definitely a good looking minifig Hulk which is actually really weird to find on the shelves um, this figure goes for a pretty penny online so glad I found it way heavier than all the other Marvel Universe figures but that's great looking I thought I got uh, this from the last wave I think oh, my phone's going off now uh, that's the Steve Rogers from Secret Avengers um, no, our uh, captain suit there, um, which I like more. I'm so sick of Captain America on everything these days. Let me just get that phone. Oh, no room to move in this room. All right. And then, found Marvel Universe Doctor Strange, um, which I've always been a Doctor Strange fan. Um, if you don't know who Doctor Strange is, I'd go get the animated movie and check that out, maybe as a precursor, or, or read, find the uh, Doctor Strange: The Oath. Uh, it's a it's a mini it's a mini comic mini series. It's like six issues. Um, it's really really cheap. You can find it anywhere, and it's a uh, it's a great little um, it's a great little uh, intro to Doctor Strange. But he's a great character. It's underused. Then I found, I picked this up just because I know how rare it is. It is the Captain America Red Skull figure. Uh, there's like one to a box of, like, there's three of every Captain America and one Red Skull. It's really, really hard to find. Everybody wants it. Um, and then I picked up a couple of Iron Man figures. Again, not a huge Iron Man fan, but I do love the Hulkbuster. And it's very rare. It's not on shelves all the time. Um, that's the costume that Tony Stark made to f uh, combat the Hulk when he came back to Earth during World War Hulk, um, which again is friggin' awesome. And then the 3.75 inch war machine, which I never see anywhere. Um, so a lot of war machine stuff, I'm, I'm pumped. I finally got a lot of war machine stuff to put around my room. Let's move this back and focus. And then I went to Kmart, and Kmart decided to have 50% off all clearance, which was already almost 50% off itself, so the good folks at Kmart uh, got me started with a little bit more. I got Iron Man uh, Mark 6, 4 inch, or, yeah, uh, the Mark 4. The Mark V, Inferno Mission Armor, and the Invasion Frost Giant from Thor, which I think is a great figure, and I've been looking at that too. And the deal with those, where those ended up being $2.75 a piece, so cannot really beat that. Um, and... The best part is, Toys R Us was having this Hasbro sale. When you spent over twenty dollars, you get a. Uh, come back up here. When you spend over twenty dollars, uh, you get 
a couple of random free figures, and if you ever shop at Toys R Us, you know that it'll be like, oh, if you buy $30 in Legos, you get this terrible Impulse $3 set, or if you buy $50 in Star Wars merchandise, you get this one figure that we they couldn't get rid of, um, which amazes me. So I happen to have the four Marvel Universe figures in my cart, um, the Steve Rogers, the Hulk, Thor, and... Doctor Strange. Um, I had these in my cart, and these are eight fifty each, which is only fifty cents more than most people charge for them. So that's not too bad. And then I had the Hulkbuster and the the little War Machine in my cart. If I can find the Hulkbuster, there they are. I had those in my cart, and so those equal to um, two separate purchases of twenty dollar, twenty three dollars. And anything over $20, they said you get a free gift. And so um, I was eyeballing these two things, these two war machines. And these are about 15 Some places sell these for $20 a piece. And I asked the guy there, what is the free gift? What is the, what is the thing I get for buying all this Hasbro stuff? And he said, I don't know. Let me look. And he looked at the SKU, and he moved, and we went down, and he goes, oh, it's just some, it's some crappy figure. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, what, what? And he's like, oh, it's these six inch ones. It's these. That's what he said. So these were the free figures. So I bought two Marvel Universe figures and the Hulk and a Hulkbuster. That was 23. Two more Marvel Universes and the War Machine. Again, these figures you can't find anywhere. Um, all of these figures. I couldn't, you know, are wicked hard to find anywhere. And these are the figures I got for free. And these are the figures I'm eyeballing over there going, uh, 15 bucks a piece, can I swing it? So, total deal, Kmart deals, Walmart deal. This thing was 10 bucks. Uh, it, was, it was like, it's supposed to be like 12. Um, again, it was 10 bucks, but it looks so badass. It's a great little build. Um, whatever, 10 bucks. So, and then, again, and then the Red Skull, the figure that everybody wants, um, which, it is what it is. So, um, that's my toy haul. Hopefully, you weren't bored by this. I'm sick. I know I look terrible. Video quality, everything. Um, but I'm going to be doing some more reviews. I'm just trying to get my room organized. These are all the tacks up, up there, all up there on the wall. Those are where I'm hanging all the figures. Got a lot of organization to do, um, but I'll be in touch, so... Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Don't hate this. It's not a Lego review because I'll be back with more soon.